Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be reviewing uh, Mac 424 W3. Many of you are buying uh, Mac boxes and wondering which one to buy. And if you're in the market and if you're looking into 424 W3, I will be doing uh, unboxing, of course, uh, and then uh, setup and uh, speed test. Also, I'll do that with this box and then we'll compare with the Mac 324 W2 which is uh, the version before this and see if um, it's worth upgrading to this box. So without a further ado, let's start um, unboxing it and see what we have inside. Apologies in advance because I have already unboxed it to see everything is there. So I'm just gonna pretend that I'm unboxing it and bear with me. Uh, so what we have is the box um, then power so it has power cable Ethernet connection HDMI connection and micro SD card on the side we have USB 3.0 uh, which is uh, new and USB 2.0 and so and the power button on the top so Bluetooth has been added in this box, that's a new feature, but I haven't figured out how to connect to that. So next is uh, remote control, which is similar to the previous version, 324W2. Um, and then uh, the power cable, the instructions, my bad, is next. Uh, and then we have a power cable for the Macbox nothing to see in here it's just a power cable and uh, they provided the batteries so you are not you don't have to buy batteries right away if you don't have it all right so the HDMI has been updated to 2.0 in this box so do not use the older HDMI cable that you have make sure you get the 2.0 supported HDMI and uh, use the one that is included in this box uh, so just a tip uh, we'll spend more time at the end discussing the differences between the previous version and this version and should you buy it or not. The setup, uh, if you already have a, w, a 324W2, the previous version, then you already know. But this will be for the new people who never done it. So bear with me. Um, you need three stuff here. You need an Ethernet cable. You can do with the Wi-Fi, but I suggest do Ethernet cable if you can, if you, need the, if you want the best experience, as I said before. Uh, you know your speed will go higher and you know it'll work more smoother um, so connect these three cables in there and then uh, we'll go to the main screen um, you'll be welcome with the screen uh, initial screen like this just press uh, ok there and then go to uh, settings after that And then uh, let's do first speed test. Let's check my speed. So you get idea. Mine runs smooth. So make sure you have a 29 or better. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So at least around 25 plus or I would say. Then let's go to system settings and then servers and then portals and then enter whatever you want to enter for the name I just entered 222 you can enter whatever 333 if you want doesn't matter but the URL you have to get it from your service provider I you know press the that button to bring the keyboard and just enter the information and then press the home button to go back and uh, we will restart uh, the whole box uh, so that will load the channels uh, once it restarts I'm gonna fast forward all this stuff so I don't think uh, anyone wants to see any of this nothing to see here nothing to press here it just does everything itself so once you load in you should see all the channels everything runs so fast means when you're scrolling through channels it scrolls faster 4K, I played my kids watch, uh, you know, music videos like this one. I'm showing you, it's a 4K channel. It used to be little 
less clarity with the previous version 324w2 but this newer version seems to be little clearer i wouldn't say so much clearer but it's definitely clear i see the difference so that helped with this so the scrolling is faster 4k is playing a little bit better so let's compare this with the older version 324w2 um, as you are seeing on the screen left hand side and right hand side is the newer version so the usb 3 2.0 is uh, replaced with the usb 3.0 in the newer one that was the physical change hardware change um, also the micro sd card has been added in the newer one so that's a storage i guess you can say if you are planning to store things uh, on this box uh, that would be handy beside that um, the thickness depth width has not changed uh, same as before uh, comparing the weight, uh, I don't see any change in uh, both of them. Uh, specs says a 10 gram increase, but you cannot fill 10 gram. Um, so it's it's the same as before. No change in the weight. So for me, it was a bigger change uh, because, uh, you know, my remote in the older one wasn't doing the job. Whenever I'm clicking, I had delay or sometimes it wouldn't register. I do like align it with the box sometimes in order to connect now this one seems to be a lot better with that case and seems to be scrolling faster as i just mentioned before so it's worth upgrading in that case um we, we will discuss the internal specs side by side on the next screen and see how they change all right so on the spec sheet there has been a lot of changes uh, as you see the first one chip has been upgraded which is a good thing and they use the same chip even in 322 uh, and 324 and now they upgraded in 424 so that's a good change uh, for chipset then the 4k hv so with the new chip um, you also get a 4k and hvc hevc high efficiency video coding means um, your 4k size uh will require less bandwidth in order to play so the network load will be lesser compared to the older version uh where you have, whenever you play 4k it's an issue with the older one at least i had with newer one i seems to be that's you know that's why you know mine was playing a little bit better with 4k because the H H E V C H E V C uh it's helping um so and the processor went from dual core to quad core that's a huge change the cpu so uh that's a boost um, and also 750 megahertz to 1200 megahertz so the speed has increased next is uh the mips which is the million instruction per second as the raw speed for cpu um that increased by almost seven times fifteen thousand. Uh, that makes sense because you are going from dual core to quad core uh, CPU. Uh, USB 2.0, as we mentioned, uh, uh, has replaced by 3.0 uh, one slot, and a micro SD card has been added. HDMI upgraded from 1.4 to 2.0. Now, whole world is going towards streaming and 4K, 8K, so that we should expect HDMI to get upgraded to. Uh, accommodate um, bandwidth no change in Wi-Fi so don't expect your speed to go higher by replacing this with Wi-Fi and same with the internet the cost is still 100 to 120 right now so it might go up so think about buying this right now instead of waiting because uh, you know the price will change because demand will increase so um, if you're in the market, definitely go for it. I definitely suggest it. This, this is a very good upgrade and um, you will see the changes when you change the box. Sometimes what happens is when you change the box, you don't see any big differences. But with this box, you will see those differences with 4K and the speed.
um, if you did like this video please do like subscribe uh, all that good stuff and uh, thank you for watching